Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm currently rocking the bloke in a bar t-shirt. Absolute fantastic videos on Facebook, Instagram. Go and check out bloke in a bar if you don't know who that is. You should know who that is though. He is massive. He's bringing out some beer in round one. Looking forward to it. We'll give it a go. Hopefully I like it. But um, in this video, basically I'm going to be speaking about my uploading schedule and games that I will be at. As you guys know, being a Parramatta fan, I will get to as many, if not all, Bankwest game as possible. But we'll speak about when I'll be uploading, what I'll be uploading. Let's get into it now. Okay guys, so the ladder predictor is out. I had a lot of fun with it last week and look, I think things can change when you think of it on the spot and that's what it does. What I'm gonna be speaking about is my ladder at the halfway point because what this is for me is a bit of a season preview and insight to what's gonna happen. Now, I've got the Storm as minor premier at uh, the, the part, full part of the season. I've got them around 13 as well. Now, I have them with nine wins and three losses, but I have them with a high for and against, um, which which is what puts them in that position because second place, I have the Manly Sea Eagles. Manly Sea Eagles have nine wins and four losses, uh, both of these teams on 18 points. And then I have the South Sydney Rabbitohs. My prediction at the moment could change. I don't know about Latrell for Premiers. Uh, the South Sydney Rabbitohs, nine wins and four losses. In fourth position, it's where I've got them in the regular as well, the Parramatta Eels, my team, of course. Uh, eight wins and five losses, which is decent. I think winning away from home is going to be a big key part of the season. Now, these guys I had uh, about round six to round nine, right up the top, then they drop a bit. And that's not... It's, it's close losses. Uh, I've got the Canberra Raiders last year's Grand finalists, the Canberra Raiders with seven wins and five losses. Big surprise here, guys. Uh, in sixth place, I have the St. George Illawarra Dragons. I think they're the dark horse of the season this year. I think the Cowboys will be right up there as well. But I think the Dragons, for me, will finish in ninth position. They'll just miss out on the eight. I, I really like the Dragons team this year. Um, the Dragons, at this point, have seven wins and six losses. And the Cowboys in 7th position have 7 wins and 6 losses as well. Cowboys for and against though is not very good at this point. And in 8th place, massive shock guy. I think they'll finish the season in 5th. But I have the Sydney Roosters in my ladder predictor in 8. My bottom 8, uh, the Bulldogs with 6 wins, 7 losses. The Knights with 6 wins, 7 losses. The Panthers with 5 wins and 7 losses. Broncos in 12th with 5 wins and 6 losses. The Sharks with four wins and eight losses. The Titans moving up from last place with four wins and nine losses. The uh, West Tigers, my wooden spoon prediction, with four wins and eight losses. And the New Zealand Warriors at the moment in the halfway season with a wooden spoon with three wins and eight losses. But um, that's my ladder predictor. It's a lot of fun. Go and check it out. Let's talk to some games that I want to try and get to or will be going to. Okay, guys, so obviously round one. Let's speak about round one. We'll get the laptop here in front of me. Parramatta Eels against the Bulldogs at Bankwest Stadium. I will 100% be there on Thursday night. Manly versus the Storm at Lotto Land on Sunday at 4.05. I will be there. Really looking forward to this. I think the Storm win in quite a close one. Um, these games could go either way. The Seagulls are a very competitive team when they when they play Melbourne. Really looking forward to it. Round two, let's have a look. We'll just do we'll do the halfway round. So we've got a Thursday night eight o'clock game between the Bulldogs and the Cowboys. Uh, I don't know about that one. I'm like, nah. Central Coast Stadium. I got my tickets to this Saturday, the 21st of March. Sydney Roosters up against Manly. Roosters have a terrible record at Central Coast, uh, but I don't know, I reckon they might just get the job done. Sharks and the Storm, no same day. Titans, Eels, no. Leichhardt, Oval. Potentially, probably not, if I'm going to that. 
Cats, Roosters and Manly game. Lotto Land. Friday the 27th of March. Maybe good chance of it. ANZ Stadium. Rabbitohs and the Roosters. This will be a good Sydney Derby. I think the Rabbits might actually get the edge over the Roosters in this one. I think the Roosters will struggle at the start of the season. They will come very, very good firing home. Uh, but as you saw, I have them in eighth position at the halfway point based on my ladder predictions. Queensland Country Bank, Townsville, Cowboys versus Eels. It's too soon, but I want to get, and I might choose during this video if I can, I want to get to the new Cowboys Stadium. It's probably going to be expensive to get up there, but I'd love to go there. Campbelltown Stadium, Tigers, Dogs. Uh, what else have we got? Bankwest Stadium, Sunday the 5th of April, Parramatta Eels versus Dragons. Really looking forward to this clash. Um, it's always a good rivalry with the Dragons, especially my partner going for the Dragons. is um, Makes it even better. Um, yep. Round 5. Rabbits and Bulldogs at Friday at 4 o'clock. Is that Easter? Friday, 4 o'clock. Yeah, it is Easter. Okay, I'll consider that one. I'll take that into account. And Monday the 13th of April, a Tigers home game at Bankwest Stadium. I'll try and get there. Since it's a Tigers home game, it might be a bit hard, but I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to get there and take my friend Josh, who's a Tigers fan, with me. ANZ Stadium, Saturday the 18th of April, a rematch between the Eels and the Bulldogs. I think the Bulldogs might just uh, beat us at home. I don't know, I've got a gut feel in that game. Could even be our first loss of the season, who knows. But uh, I think we'll get beaten by the Cowboys at their brand new stadium. Rabbitohs and Dragons. Rabbitohs and Dragons is, is a maybe. The fact that it's a 205 is really cool at ANZ Stadium. Round seven. Love to go to Darwin, but I won't be there, unfortunately, guys. Um, this is what I was thinking about, and I want to consult people to go with and ask them if they want to do this, but the Dragons and the Roosters, the Anzac Day Clash. I really think I want to go to this match quite badly this year. Um, it's at four o'clock. I think it'll be brilliant, and I actually think the Dragons might get one up on Anzac Day. All right, we'll move on to round eight. Suncorp Stadium. So all these games, Magic Round, Tigers and Sharks, Manly and Bronco, Rabbits and Knights, Bulldogs and Raiders, Roosters and Cowboys, Warriors and Parramatta, Storm and Dragons. And I think Storm and Dragons and Roosters and Cowboys, I might add, will be upsets. And Titans and Panthers. I really think it's a terrible game to end with. Let me know in the comments. I know there's a few Panthers fans. I think we've got a few Titans fans on here as well. How badly do you want me to be at the Titans and Panthers game? Because after that Storm and Dragons game, I'm tempted to leave Magic Ground, go enjoy Queensland a bit, um, or, or Brisbane for a bit, um, have a look around. But if, if I get enough requests in the comments going, no, stay, 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 then I might just stick around for it. But I'll be with uh, some good mates up there, so I'm looking forward to it. ANZ Stadium, 750, Rabbitohs, Broncos. I will consider that. This one here, Friday the 8th of May. Roosters and the Storm at the SCG. Lock it in. Come on, I'm going to get there. That one I've got to get there for. Be an absolute brilliant game, that. Sunday the 10th of May, Lotto Land, Manly and Eels. Good chance at going to Lotto Land for that one. We're up to round 10. Uh, Thursday night at the SCG, nah, probably not. Amy Park, probably not. Tigers and Rabbits at Leichhardt Oval is a chance. Round 11. Manly versus West Tigers. At Central Coast Stadium. That's a good chance. That's a good chance, that one. Uh, Sunday, Saturday, the 23rd of May. 
And then we've got the grand final rematch after that. How exciting. Bankwest Stadium, Eels versus Panthers, Sunday 4.05. Good afternoon game. Got a bad feeling about that one. I think Panthers will, will beat Panthers at home and they'll beat us at home again like last year. Just a weird gut feeling. Bankwest Stadium, Friday the 29th of May, Eels and Cowboys. Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you want to see? Because I want him to come down. Nick from Australia, come down next to each other. An Eels fan, a Cowboys fan, two best mates. Bickering, arguing in a vlog. Wouldn't you guys love to see it? Let's get him down here. A lot of teams have buys that week, so that's Origin coming up to, I believe. Uh, round 13, here we go. Here's a halfway mark. And in round 13, Manly and Rabbits at ANZ on the 6th of June is a good possibility. And Bankwest Stadium, Eels versus Tigers is a big possibility as well. But they're the round 1 to 13 games that I will probably be at. There may be other games that I decide last minute to go to just for the sake of it. Um, now, I've been getting a bit of backlash, so I want to ask, if you're watching this right now, please give your opinion in the comments. Obviously, I'm a Parramatta Eels fan through and through. You guys know that. You guys should know that by now. But... Do you think it's a good idea to support other teams when I go to other matches based on the majority of voting by you guys? I voted for Manly in Melbourne and I got a lot of Manly votes. I got over 70 votes. However, I had a lot of backlash in the comments saying, no one, no one, you're an Eels fan, no one. But that would ruin the fun not going to an NRL game. I feel like, you. yes, you're divided, but you also have a team that you go for during the match and that's what I want to do. But... That is round 1 to 13. That's my season preview. Let's talk a little bit about my uploading schedule quickly. So those games I mentioned, I'll try and do some awesome game day highlights vlogs, as always, for you guys. So on, we're going to stick with what is usual, but so you guys know, and if you're new to the channel, I do upload quite regularly. So on Mondays, I do my recap of the round that was. I speak about the games of the round. I speak about any controversy, my own opinion as much as possible. On Tuesday, probably my favourite, I do my predictions and team list. The team list come out with NRL team. I speak about players who are potentially making their debut. I speak about who I think should be on the bench, if they're off the bench, uh, players like that, as well as score predictions, things like that. Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays or Sunday, the game day vlogs, as always. Um, what else would you guys like to see? Is there something you'd like to see? I love Nick from Australia's The Corner Post segment. I think it's really funny. Um, it's not something I'd do personally, I don't think. Um, it's not exactly who I am. I'd maybe appear on it, but um, I don't think I'd do it regularly. But I am uplo uh, uploading the footy cards, the NRL 2020 trading cards. So those will probably be out Sundays. I think Sunday nights would be quite good for that. Getting the cards over the weekend, making that video. Go and check it out if you haven't seen it. It was quite quiet. But anyway, guys, let me know feedback in the comments. Let me know what games you'll be going to. I want to know what games you will be at. If you'll be at Magic Ground, please let me know. Um, check out my little merch video as well. If you like the t-shirt, let me know. Anyway, guys, please do subscribe to the channel if this is your first video. And I'll see you guys for my round one predictions tomorrow night.